Okay, today I was going to do a video on the print and cut feature in Lightburn and it's like getting to be quite a long video so if you know already how to set up a file for print and cut with your reference points and stuff you can skip to 4 minutes and 20 seconds and that's where it starts from Lightburn going onto the computer but if you want to know how to design the file for print and cut then I suggest you watch the whole video so thanks for watching and if you enjoy the content like and subscribe thank you I just wanted to make a video on the light burn print and cut feature in here it's over this side on my computer outside it's over this side for some reason but yeah it looks like that or you can go to laser tools and then print and cut uh, I'm just going to quickly show, uh, all I did was, I had these three photos, I just cut the three photos out and put them onto one sheet of paper, making sure that this was the correct size, so let me just quickly go image size, and if I change this to inches, you can see it's 13 inches wide, 19 inches tall, that's the same, you know, that's my printer paper is that size. So you just want to make sure that your document to start with is the correct size. I've got 300 resolution because I'm going to be printing it. You want to make some reference marks. I did do it here. I mean, how I did it was, I just got to show how I did this. I held shift and drew a circle and then come up to edit and go to stroke. I'm going to put a three pixel stroke. I'm going to zoom in, go to the brush tool and then just draw a cross across this circle it don't matter too much if it's center you want it kind of center but I mean it don't really matter and then you want to save this now this is my one finished what I'm going to print and cut but you know whatever yours is save it I just file export and I uh, saved it as a PNG so in Lightburn you just import your image find wherever it is and import it and now it'll come in like this if you've done it a png if not you'll have a white background but it doesn't matter the first thing you want to do is because it's probably going to come in say it comes in this size just make sure that you check up here we know that it's 13 inches wide and it's 19 inches tall just make sure that's correct because that's the size of the paper and then right click on it and go down to trace image slide these sliders up you want it really you see where if you go too far it goes right to the outside if you come a little bit back from that it should be on the outside of this really so I'm going to go with that and say OK I'm going to drag this over here and you can see there's all little bits and pieces in the middle you don't want so what you do is single it out hold control click what you do want so I want that outside that outside and that one outside and then you can press delete and that will delete everything else now if you do have something like this all you have to do is go to the node editing tool and then you can just hold your finger on D delete out some of these and then just bring one of these nodes over to connect with this node and what I'm going to do now is now I've just got them free I'm going to regroup them so they don't get moved at all moving back over the top of where they was so I'm just going to shift these around so they line up nice which is there and then these other marks I suggest you just zoom in and just make a little cross hold shift and just and then if you right click it disconnect that and then I like to just do one this way and also so I can see I'm going to zoom in a bit more so I can select these two and then I'm going to group these and just move it over a little bit so it's right in the middle there. Really you only have to do two of these points. So what I'm going to do is I'll do this bottom one here. I'll duplicate that again with a control and D. Move this one up to the top over here. Just zoom in, make sure you're nice and centered on that. Because we're going to use them to tell the laser where these marks are okay so that's that done so what I would do now is I'm going to 
flick between this and the video but you want to get your you want to get the head of the laser right over the top of this first point there's the top position there which it's on okay i'm going to turn the image off and you can see this is where my little squares uh, where the little crosses were so what i'm going to do is pick one of them crosses i'm going to start with this one up the top and then click print and cut so set first target position and then what i'm going to do is jog this to the next position which i'm going to put it i'm going to take it from there go across the laser's moving too fast and you can't get it to line up on the cross just press speed and then you can change this down so look if i press enter now and I'll move it, you'll see it move a lot slower. So yeah, you just want to line it up, bang, right in the middle there. You can see there my red dot, right in the middle of that spot. So I'm going to go back to the computer. Go back onto the computer, I'm going to go down to the dot where I just was, which is this one. It's hard to see just because it's a very small dot. And then... Uh, so set second target position and now it says ready print and cut I've got cut selected graphics on so I'm going to make my selection of the bikes and click send you can see it says ready print and cut so just remember if you slow your speed down just remember to put it back but yeah just speed and just use these arrows that you see that's on the free I normally keep mine around 300 which then once you've got your number just press enter and then you can see that's about that kind of speed okay it's in there with the print and cut so I'm going to press file you see just the three bikes there enter now I'm going to click frame you see now somehow it roughly knows where them bikes are so I've got this 150 speed, 17.5 power. I've not cut this photo paper before, but I'll see how it goes. See that just finished. I think I could have done with a little bit more power. I'm just going to see if these went through or not. Hmm. Just. You can see there it cuts them nice and clean and it hasn't left any trace of the bike on the outside of any of them. So yeah, it does a nice job and you can see there and if he's doing stickers or signs or something like that yeah as long as you just keep these little marks tiny and then make sure on the computer before you send it it says ready and then print and cut but yeah just do a good job <clears throat> yeah you could use that on like lots of different applications really it's just a matter of having somewhere to marked on your piece of paper really or you know your piece of material yeah so again thanks for watching and please like and subscribe and i'll uh, get another video out as soon as possible thanks again for watching